Aquarius, welcome to your money and career reading for February moving into March. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Wellness and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so let's see what is in store for Aquarius for money and career for the month of February moving into March. That is a lot. Top card though two of wands world in your hands new journey illuminated oh. it's showing up again i'm going to keep that for the situation okay Ah, okay. So Aquarius, that is so interesting. Wow. All right. So for the challenge position, you have the 10 of swords and you also have the wheel of fortune. So this being in the challenge position, it is just showing up as what I'm seeing is a mindset shift. I will get into that as I move through or, or, um, whoa, almost went off the side. As I, um, bring out all of the cards. Okay. Here, belief energy. That's beautiful. You have the empress, empress, gorgeous. Okay. Now for the root of the reading, ace of wands. Challenges are just little uh, blips or little, oh, yay, um, something that just needs to be tweaked a little bit. So here for the present energy, you have the King of Swords and you have the Ten of Cups. You have a lot of completion. You have a lot of really strong, powerful cards here. Future. Oh, oh. Wow. Um, these are in sequence. Those are in sequence. Well, yeah. So the way that you're seeing it. Yeah. Okay. So this is the seven of wands. And then we have the eight of wands. And for those of you that have been following me, you will know that the eight of wands is one of my very, very favorite cards because it signifies that there is that movement and there's nothing standing in your way. Here, this is your determination to make things happen. That's awesome. Um, all right. So for the internal energy, let's look. Do not. There we go. Oh, my goodness. You're getting a lot of doubles here. And you have two waters as well. Wow. Really, really powerful, powerful energy here. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. I love that. And then your... X two cards again. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is amazing. That is incredible. You have a uh, two fire energy that came out. You have another completion that came out and then you have the page of wands, which signifies that something new is happening. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love this for you so much. Okay. So hopes and dreams. Looks like there's two. Ooh. Ooh, yes. So you have the magician and you have the knight of wands. And then for the completion, and then I'll get right into this reading. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. Then you have the three of fire. So at the situation here, you have the two, the two signifying that there is a, a new journey, a new path that you are moving down. Whenever I see these pillars right here, that means that you're moving into a doorway. You're moving into a new doorway. Um, so think of it that there, there's this new start. There's a new journey that's happening and that world is in your hands. Anything is possible. What you create, like you are the, the creator of your world and all of the things that you are working on concerning your money and career. Oh, I love this. Like you are making 
significant changes. And that's what this year is all about. That's what 2023 is all about, is that structured plan. And this feels like it's, well, with the with the uh, challenge coming up here, um, it, it that's what it definitely alludes to for me, and that's what I picked up right away. Um, you, this is something that you have definitely wanted to get to. This is a point that you've wanted to get to, and you're you're finally here. This is a new journey that you are embarking on. I'm really excited for you, Aquarius. Now. With this one here coming up as the challenge, it could be like a like a, a too good to too good to be true. To, like it just it's it's kind of like unfathomable. Like you really don't think that there's any possible way because it's been a while, and <laughs> you just you feel and uh, I mean. The, the word that just came to my mind, Aquarius, was defeated. So it kind of, it, it feels like there's, there's, there's this been, you've been defeated, you've been deflated, and that's what I'm kind of picking up for that energy. Now, this one here, this is the end of old ways of thinking. So this is like that new manifestation that is the new way of thinking you are adopting new patterns of thinking and so i also want to say though um with the age of aquarius that we are in for the rest of our lifetimes we are going to notice that there are a lot of changes that are happening where you may not even realize until it's kind of like one day and you're just like, wow, like this shifted, that shifted. Oh my goodness. Like I didn't realize that. And when did that happen? And you know how you kind of like have those moments, either like maybe you're doing the dishes or you're like boiling um, the kettle or you're making a coffee or something like that. And you're just kind of standing there and like you just have like these subconscious thoughts or messages that are coming through to you. And that's when you kind of have those realizations. So that's, that's kind of like what I'm talking about here, but you, um, to go a little bit further with that is that because we're in that air energy now and we're not in that water energy for, the past 2000 years, what we were all born into, this energy is now you're enhancing your communication, you're enhancing the way that you receive messages. And you are going to eventually notice that you are definitely picking up more, you're a lot more open to receive your um, thinking your thoughts, the positive thoughts and what you want to see in your life come to fruition will definitely come to fruition over time. So that's why it's so important to um, really keep those thoughts positive, to really uh, do exactly what you've been doing. You are on the right track. And so with your money here and your career, this definitely, this is luck. And so with, with this luck and with this beautiful foundational energy of this gorgeous wealth, this money, this, this material abundance, and not just material abundance, but all abundance. This is fantastic. This is um, for February and for March, you're really going to see some significant shifts. Yes, it's in the challenge position. But again, what I'm saying is that you are kind of, it kind of almost feels like you're scoff, you could be scoffing at it. Like, oh, yeah, okay. You know, I've had those like thoughts and dreams before and, and they haven't come true, but this is the energy that's coming through that it, it's kind of like you think it's too good to be true. Positive mindset, positive mindset, positive mindset. Now, for your belief energy, you have the Empress. The Empress is all about abundance and it's all about your soil is fertile. So that foundation and everything that you're working with is very, very fertile. I love this. And just see how full this card is. This card is also, there's that yellow there that's representing the solar plexus chakra. And so that there is the confidence, the willpower, the taking action, the passion. So you have so much in there, but that beautiful empress, that's gorgeous and really um, bringing home 
home the abundance. That's awesome. Now, for the root of the reading here, again, this is another card that is signifying that there's new things that are happening for you, for your money and your career. So this here, there could be um, definitely if you have started a new career, if you have or, or a new business, there's some new project, something new that's happening for you. It's it's really going to uh, like there's going to it's uh, very momentous. It's going to be very, very momentous. And you're going to feel that things are are really like gliding, flowing. Um, there's no stopping. And this is going to be a new energy that's coming in. And spirit is handing this to you. OK, this is being handed to you from spirit. So uh, like I said, with your spiritual awareness, with your which with your energetic awareness which we are all going to say like, hey, like when did this happen? And like I was explaining before, you are definitely going to notice that these shifts are happening in these moments when you just have those quiet moments to yourself. And it, it's really, really exciting. Again, present energy. Here you go. You have the completion card of the 10 of cups. This is gorgeous, beautiful family, happiness, love, relationships. There's a lot of really good things that are happening here for your money and career. And Having that solid base just makes the career and makes your, your professional life so much abundant, so much, so much like, um, there's that wealth to it. There's that feeling of wealth. There's that feeling of abundance without any of the materialness. It's just that feeling that you have and it's gorgeous. So with your friends, with the co-workers, it's, it's really gorgeous. Um, this one here, again, this is you making really solid decisions in what your next steps are. I really feel that um, it, it's literally just going to come to you Avoid overthinking. Avoid overthinking anything. Just just make those those quick statements. Um, not uh, over explaining anything and just keeping it like super simple. But this here, um, there's that definite power in this king and that king, that strength of that knowledge. Um, like really kind of like focus on that crown chakra and even like the connectivity of the third eye and the crown chakra, a lot of self-expression, a lot of confidence when you are expressing yourself and really like picking up on those intuitive cues and going with it because uh, we're, you are very, very, I was going to say we, well, we are everyone, we are all supported. So really tune into, uh, the spiritual support that you have moving forward. Um, and I do feel for you that there is, um, I feel like there's past loved ones that are coming through and I feel that, uh, they are definitely helping to guide you. That's gorgeous. That's, it's really beautiful. And uh, you know what? Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's with this, this 10 of cups. And so that's what I just received is that you have a lot of past loved one support, or it could be right now, um, from your, from your support system right now that you do have a lot of support, uh, moving forward. And it, it, it feels so good. And this really levels up your vibration, which then allows you to attract higher quality energy. I love that. Okay. So for your future, you have the seven and the eight. This here is that unwavering determination. You are so incredibly determined. You have that strategic thinking. You are working, 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 and it is working out. You have nothing that's standing in your way. And that's what's happening here with the support systems that you have from um, the spirits that are here right now. And I mean, living spirits. And then we have your past loved one spirits that are, Ooh, that are assisting you as well. That's really beautiful and gorgeous. I love, I love all the messages that I am receiving here. Now you have two water signs here 
for your internal energy. You have this page, which means that there is new relationships that are happening. So new partnerships, new professional relationships. That's absolutely amazing. This here, it's, it's like something will be offered to you. And so this definitely can have to do with some sort of, um, uh, bringing in more abundance like money and so with you meeting people um, that's definitely going to lead to something that's going to uh, really enhance your life your professional life and so for this judgment card here now this one here uh, sacral chakra wings the sacral chakra, um, that is all about um, attracting abundance. That's all about attracting money. That's all about relationships. The sacral chakra, it's a doozy of a chakra. Um, so I'm just talking about this energy because I always talk about chakras in my readings. Now, to understand that, like like I said, it's always a doozy because it's, it's about relationships. It's about like all that work, all that self-worth, all that self-love, all of that, like, you know, self-realization and to really say, Hey, you know what? Like, this is me, this is who I am. And this is what I'm striving for. And this is how I'm going to make it happen. And so here you have, um, these people here that are representing that there is a new start, like how I was um, saying at the beginning, like, it's almost like you're feeling like, Hey, I'm finally here. I finally made it. I finally made it this far. And so there is, um, it's like this, that, re uh, renewal and rejoice. And so here, these people are shown as like not wearing any clothes because that's why it's, it's that renewal. It's kind of like that starting over. So that's how they're shown like that. But there is the, the celebration there is the dancing um this is gorgeous i laughter that's what i keep hearing is laughter like there's happiness there's it's really beautiful energy um and yeah like this is coming to you uh in double energy i love that i can't like wow i'm so happy for you aquarius it's amazing so for your external energy just like here with your um with your future energy, you have the fire. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, so you have this fire here. Oh, it's still coming, oh my goodness. Okay, so the exhaustion is over. The 10 of wands, this is representing that the exhaustion is over and you've made it to this new point, this new journey, this new path. And so here, this is the page that is representing that you are ready. You're ready for the new adventure. You are like super excited. You're looking at all of those new budding energies and as well here, there's nothing there. And so what that represents is all of that you can build, you can create. And that is so beautiful. And there's just so much excitement in this page for your external energy. So exhaustion's over and new exciting adventurous times are coming up for you, Aquarius. Now for the belief energy, you have the magician. This is, you have everything that you need to succeed. You have all of the tools and there is that action taking. There is that beautiful, beautiful abundance. This magician is so beautiful. You can manifest anything that you want into your life. And here you have the fire, the night of fire. And there is that, that eagerness, that, um, Ooh, it's that desire, that desire to like really follow your passion, but not just like follow, it's like gallop. You are like, you're so excited, just like the way I'm talking right now. It's, um, I get so excited and I kind of need to find my words. So, cause I'm talking too fast. So with this one here, this is your completion card. And so this is, you are looking, it's like you have attained, you have moved from this level and now you have received this and now you have that extra wand there. And 
like you've leveled up. Okay. That that's what I'm receiving from this is that you've leveled up and you have like an even more, um, like a greater, um, area, a greater span that you have to create. Okay. You have to create, you have to build. This is a huge, huge building month for you. Um, you have all, you have all of the energy here. You have all of the elements. This is amazing. This is like an action packed, um, like you are so ready. You are so ready for this. I'm so excited for you. You have a lot of amazing, amazing things to look forward to and to receive. And definitely, yes, there is a big change in the way that you're bringing in money, the way that you're attracting that money. I'm really, really happy for you. I'm always happy when people succeed. I send you so much love and so much support for all of your future endeavors. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.